Hey, hola, mi gente. Oh, it's your man, the Afro Rican, Orlando Crespo. Guess what? Uh, uh, giving you the rice and beans. Know what I mean? What up, slime? Hey, you know who it is. Call it part shun. Hit a little paint where it ain't a little seasoning with some reasoning. Yeah. We got one of our OGs in the house today. <laughs> oh, yeah. He gonna lay it on us. Tell the people who you are. Quasi Bay. The Cuban smooth brother. Plenty yes. <laughs> 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 of things to talk it. about today. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> he ready. Y'all know who it is. <laughs> one eight. We in the place where we love to be. This is our garden. Yes, yeah. Indeed. In peace. Yes, so, Let's get going. Uh, I am glad to be here. Glad hey, we appreciate you. You bought some cigars with you? Oh, no, I don't I smoke, know. drink. Yeah, he don't do none of that, no bro. Meat. You got the wrong one. No meat. <laughs> yeah. He going to tell us about it. He going to oh, yeah, tell yeah, us yeah. about it. Yeah. None. Yeah, yeah. That's what's up. How long you been on that? I mean, like. What part? All of it. <laughs> <laughs> All of it. Smoking, drinking, I never did. Never did. Oh, okay. Never had an interest in it. Who were you raised? New York. Okay. Long Island. Okay. Long Island. How long yeah. you been in Atlanta? Uh, 19 years. Okay. 19 Jet, years. Jets fan. All the way. What? Yeah, that ass somebody. I just wanted to star something. Oh, Yo. Man. Oh, look. man. Why I bleed green. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I bleed green. Oh, yeah. You guys. I kill you. I kill you. Take that shit serious. Look, we we go to the Super Bowl without a season. You know? Oh man, unbelievable! Yes. It took this shit for us to be relevant, yes, but it's all good, man. That's what's up. Glad man. you glad you come in, man. I'm glad too. I'm glad I got the call, man. Oh man, no man. doubt. If anybody, I mean, your knowledge yes. is something that a lot of people need to hear, bro. You like you said, you never had a drink, never had a smoke. You, you, how old are you? I'll be 57 Monday. The, wow. If, uh, y'all can see the brother. He wow. look like he about look 40. Look at him. Wow. Right. He look like he about he look 40. look like he just hit. Right. No you know wrinkles. No wrinkles. Oh, None of that. What? Good soul, man. Good what? soul. That's what's up. Got, man. That's He's what's cold up. as ice. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I want to start off light before we get heavy. What you got? Do it. Um, we was asked to talk about it, so we're going to talk about it. Uh, the red table. <laughs> <laughs> the red table. <laughs> Unbelievable! Uh, somebody asked us Bruh. to talk about it. You know, Bruh. let's uh, let's get into it, man. I, 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 oh, you want me to start? Yeah. I didn't see it, but just from what I've heard, um, you know, the whole thing with she said it was an entanglement. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, that's what they calling it? Now? That's what they calling <laughs> it. Yeah. Now. yeah that's what now, but for me, to be honest, I thought I've always heard that they was already swingers. So I was like, why right. is this new? That's so for, when I look at it, it's like, okay, somebody finna pump something so they can get eyes on them. Right. Probably sell some albums or book come, come or on, something. Because they've been doing this. So I'm yep. like, what is, what's the big deal? I seen two actors, man. That's what I said. I was looking at two actors on TV, man. I'm like, I'm like, damn, he look like Pursuit of Happiness over there, bro. Like, I can get an Oscar for that? Man, what? I mean, at the point that y'all, bad boys, whatever, oh, bad man. marriage for life, that's yeah. rehearsed, bro. Yeah, yeah, that's terrible. That's rehearsed, that man. Was I'm terrible. like, I see two actors, man. I don't know what's going on. Willow got an album coming. I don't know. Somebody. Yeah. But come on, man. Something's in the making. Yeah. All the conversations aren't ready for the round table. I think if they had a choice, they would take that back. I don't think I so, think man. I, 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 I think they wanted to do it. I think nah. just for the, the, just the, the, the media was too hype, man. She had to say yeah, so. Yeah. She had to. Yeah. You talking about a relationship goal yeah that people put them on this plat this plat this plateau uh, this plateau plat yeah this plateau right yeah. and now they they showing chinks in the armor she had to say something bro right there was no way around that bro right. like you said they've been putting it out there for years yeah, it's thought, been out there for years i thought they were swingers anyway yeah, right that's what i years. thought i was trying to put an advocate <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> she's too love for me I like I like some things. She does man. have sex appeal though. Oh, she's yeah. beautiful. Yeah, she's mm -hmm. beautiful. I just like mine with a little bit more cushion for and the push. A, and a mama back. I could you know dig it. Right? Yeah, mama, mama fine too. And a mama back. Mama fine. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna still see if I can throw my name in it. Nah, what I got out the deal is that <laughs> you too old, Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you missed that one, brother. Uh, okay. <laughs> what you get, dog? Bro, August Alcina 
Look real close. Fucking it up for the young brothers. Oh, out. Yeah, 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 big it, time. It, 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 it it for that. Yeah. You know how many cougars Bruh. I wanted to slay? Yeah, it's done for that. And you caught feelings? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, it, 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 ain't fact, it ain't the fact that he caught feelings, bro. He put it out to the world. Yeah. He oh, ain't no way, bro. It. He talked. You know what? I was just talking about, like, back in the day, I don't know about y'all, but at my school, we had a couple teachers that was getting okay. it in. Okay. Yeah. I'm talking about the young the football players, the yeah. athletes yeah. was getting sure. it in with Before somebody. They getting Nobody told. said no, nothing. Right, right, right. It was a that part was of code. it was part of what it Call was. Silence. Now everybody is telling and all this and that and Bro. it's messing up the whole she sucked my thing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think I'm pregnant. But, but, I mean, you know, <laughs> I mean, we got <laughs> I'm just we, we can't say that. You know why? What? Because if it was a show another foot. Right. Yeah. And if a, uh, uh, a teacher was hitting our daughter, we'd be all at the school. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, we, we yeah. Can't, we can't you're right. It. We yeah. can't ready to hurt somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Bad. So, yeah. But when you're playing in the streets, like you say, prepare to get dirty. Oh, yeah, you're going to get dirty in the streets. Yeah, got to get yeah, dirty. Absolutely. But oh. Will's, you know, Will's side pieces. That's what I'm saying. They know the code. But he been, you know, for yeah. a minute. Mm-hmm. Right. Y'all, we finished with this? Uh, I'm kind of finished with this. Uh, hey, I'm kind of burnt out on it because Black Twitter, they just... They put it on fire, right. and I'm I mean, done. You know, you know, we love to, you know, badger each other. Mm. I ain't even you know? touch it. So but we got, a, we got an OG in here today. Yeah, man, we What's gonna that? get yeah. into some heavy, heavy. Man. Yeah, I mean, again, like you said, man, we appreciate you coming in here, man. Look Glad to him, be man. here. Glad you to look be like here. you happy to be here, man. Oh man, I'm so happy when he called me, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Thank you. I was walking Thank around you. like, yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. I appreciate oh. that. Yeah, man. Um, but dealing with social issues, uh, let's 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 get to it. Um, why do we need black celebrities, you know, word, in uh, dealing with social issues? Or why, why is it why yeah, is it important? To why does a black celebrity's word matter in social issues? <sighs> that's we should be able to think well, for ourselves. We yeah, should go ahead. That's mm-hmm. the problem. We we've we've stopped thinking for ourselves. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We have really become bandwagon riders or whatever you want to call it. Sure. We jump on everything and anything that's going. So, I mean, critical thinking is out of the, out of the box for us. It's Mm. that's, that's a part that's lost for us. Okay. Mm -hmm. Critical thinking. So we can get back to it. Exactly. We can, but it's going to take some work. Yeah. It's it's really going to take some work. But but these, these performers and singers and Uh it's crazy how they make one statement and it runs. I think I think the problem with that is you asking people that might not be activists to say something in a in a in a time frame that they might not even be, you know, close to. Mm-hmm. Like everybody's not close to the stuff like we, we think they should be. Mm-hmm. So when you when you looking for a voice from somebody just because you like them at what they do mm-hmm. for a profession and just because you know you feel like, you know, people tend to think they own people. Right. Because they they, you know, they're celebrities. Right. And so I, I'm not looking for, you know, somebody that, you know, play basketball or, you know, something like that to speak mm-hmm. unless you're really into that. Yeah, like Etan e- e- Tan, e- Tan Thomas right. is his name. Yep. That brother used to e- be, play yep. basketball in the season. Mm-hmm. Unless, you know, he arrested in off season protesting somewhere. Like he yep. was a true, right. he right. is a true He's always activist. been like that. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah. when I, when you're looking for, you know, Dwayne Wade and, you know these people who really. Why don't, you say Dwayne Wade? I like Dwayne Wade. I mean, I don't care you. I mean, you need to talk to him about. Anyway. Hey, but, yeah, uh, nah, I can't so get so with him on that. But, <laughs> but, since but, he retired. I mean, when you ask him for people who really you don't know if they they activists like that or right. just even that connected to the issues, the social issues that we have, and like you really asking for a lot, but then they feel pressure to do it. The minute they say the wrong thing, we like, oh, why the hell he say that shit? Mm-hmm. But then the minute he say something, you don't, you know, it's it, it, it's bad for him to say something. It's, mm. it's bad for him if he don't say something. It's a double-edged sword. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. he got his sponsors and shit he got to think about, but then he got to think, yo, the people might need me right. mm-hmm. to say something. So, you know, it's, it's, it's tough. Well, I, I think, it, <laughs> to be honest, I feel like it has a lot to do with social media. Um, I hate to always put that on, you know what I mean, That's like what a blanket, but it is because you got to look back back in the day, athletes, actors, actresses, entertainers, all the only line we had really was 
whatever their profession was. Mm-hmm. And maybe entertainment tonight, but that would just be a little, yeah, you know. You just showed your I, age. I showed my age. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <she> showed it. <laughs> <laughs> but we could not be connected with these people. So it was like, whatever they said really didn't matter to us. The people mm-hmm. that was around us and the things that we lived day to day was what we was doing. Just like when Charles Barkley was like, I'm not a role model. And right. He was out there spitting on little kids, and he didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> he didn't no, do it on purpose. Don't do that. He didn't do it on purpose. I love Barkley. That's why he, I bring he threw him up. that motherfucker through the window on purpose. Yeah, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. say if that had happened in today's world, they probably would have kicked him out of the country. You know what I'm <laughs> you know, saying? It's, yeah. As as soft as the world is now, because now we feel like we have to hold these people accountable or whatever and it's like like you said if you're not in that fight why would i have to take your word for, for, I, I for think, something i think back then and not not you know your idea you I, did I, 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 you too, but I mean uh Go you got arthur <laughs> ash oh yeah muhammad ali mm-hmm. you know harry belafonte right these are just people that were activists like this is what they were about they just they played a sport or a, as an entertainer but they cared about their culture their people and they made sure they voiced that and they mm-hmm. took whatever Backlash came with it. Right. I don't think today's athlete is that giving of itself because the money is so different right. than it was. Because a lot of them, like, I take care of a lot of people. I gotta. You see what's happening with uh, Deshaun uh, Jackson, Jackson right Jackson. now. He just got fined by the Eagles yeah, for a that. comment that he made. I'm oh, just so like. Making a comment. Yeah, yeah. making a comment. Right. That, you know, so, I mean, they really, they want them to shut up and play. Mm-hmm. And right, you got to commend people like LeBron saying, "I made too much money for you to tell me right. what to do." But everybody, unfortunately, don't have the same, you know, back and forth like like, like LeBron like do, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. or, or, or Kaepernick voice. or yeah. the brother down there. What's the? I don't fight football like that. The, the brother Malcolm, I think Malcolm Jenkins, Jenkins. Or something Malcolm like Jenkins. that. Yeah. Like yeah. these brothers, they they put it on the line. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Where mm-hmm. you know. A guy like J.R. Smith say something, we like, hey, hold on, on, bro. Yeah, we, go we, down, that's J.R. Yeah, go sit down somewhere. Hey, slow, slow down, bro. Wait, wait, wait. Go sit down somewhere, man. But, you know, go ahead, go ahead, Chris. Oh, no, you good. I mean, you know, it's, I think it's everybody's responsibility to do what they're supposed to do. Don't, while you looking for somebody to say something, look uh-huh. in the mirror mm. and decide what that person in the mirror going to say. Right. I, I had a situation this week at work, man, and Really? Oh man, check this. Oh, shut up. Man. You always got check situations at work. Check this out, <laughs> man. Well, not everybody. The brothers in the break room. Another one. These, right, right, Another one. <laughs> right. The brothers in the break room. They love. They play spades, man. They get yeah. real loud. Uh, they play. They play. Uh, they talk about football. They know the owners, the, the contracts. They know facts. the players' positions, oh, yeah. the plays they should have ran, the coaches, the team dudes should go to, and all this. Mm. I don't know none of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Right. So we got to talking about the brothers that went up to Stone Mountain and, right. um, you know, what things the, they did and differences we was having. Right. So the brother began to whisper. So I asked the brother. <laughs> I said, uh, well, first he came close to me. I said, why are you even sitting over here now? I, I can hear you, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. He was like, well, brother, you kind of loud and this and no, that. I'm like, hold, hold on. Bro. I said, I'm like, <laughs> I said, wait a minute. So we can't talk about this? And he, you know, his view was we wasn't, it seemed like we was arguing, so he didn't want to talk loud. I said, brother, we having a conversation. Right. Mm-hmm. I said, this is all dialogue. You know, we build it. Mm. And he was like, yeah, but, you know, we ain't supposed to be doing this. I said, so wait a minute. What? Y'all can talk about sports and, yeah. right. and yep. shit all day, mm. real loud. Loud as you want. But we talking about mm. real shit here. And I got a whisper. You know me, man. I'm working on this temper thing. It's not happening. I'm, I'm working on it. Man. I'm working on it for some years. So my, <laughs> I'm working on it, man. So at the at the end of that, I end up apologizing to the brother for the things I said to him. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But I apologize for my tone, not for what I said. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? But it 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 made me feel good, but it hurt me at the same time because my manager is white. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I got called to the back. Before I went home, he was like, close the door. Wow. So I was like, you know, what I do now? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, I want to commend you for what you said this morning to them. Mm-hmm. He said, because they needed to hear that. He said, it's a lot going on for black people. These are his words. Right. You know what I'm saying? And to just have a same conversation about sports every day, he said, it kind of is it's, it's weird to me. Right. He said, with everything that's going on in the world, he said, I'm, 
I'm happy you said that. You know, of course he can't. You know, they fire him in a minute. He, you know right. what I'm saying? But right. you know, I my, I ain't gonna tell you what my boss is, but his name is uh, Jekyll or something. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that was major though. Yeah, man. but but it, it was sad though, bro, because he sees that, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but they didn't. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that happens more more often than than we like to. Yeah. You know that we like to give notice to his brother right here, man. It's the level of thinking too, man. I ain't never seen this brother bite his tongue, bro. Mm-hmm. Even sometimes I'd be like, "Hey, hey," but then I gotta realize, hell, I've never I seen same, you bite your. I right. the same thing. <laughs> right. But he's a, he's, a, he's an OG man. He's a man with a lot of knowledge. That's why I'm I'm gonna be quiet. I'm gonna let him have his flow, <laughs> and, and 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 give us everything yeah, he got. Even the school us a day. I yeah. just got uh, well. Okay. Um, one question though: <clears throat> How do you feel about people that profit off the cause? Trash. Oh, they trash. Look at them as trash. Mm-hmm. Period. I mean, with all these, all these, uh, the true intentions aren't the same. No, right. not at all. Not at Got all. You. See, I, I look at these people now who are jumping on, jumping in marches. Mm-hmm. You know, where were you? Six months ago, where were you a year ago? Mm-hmm. Where were you with Mike Brown? Where yeah. were you with Sandra Bland? Where were you now? Now, now you want to jump on board? Now everybody's, everybody's. Let's let's be buddies and hold hands, and mm-hmm. you know, that's 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 garbage. That's garbage. And for us to keep falling for things like that, yeah, that sickens me even more, because. These are games they played from day one and still playing it, and you looking at it. You looking at the play. They put they, they got the playbook in front of you, mm-hmm. and you missing the play. You're right. still missing the play. You're not seeing the play. It, they do it over and over again. So I mean, I get I get I get so riled up around the house. My wife is like, "Calm down, calm down, calm down, <laughs> right? Calm down," because it really bothers me to see what's going on. Um, you know. I'm just going to jump out there. The Black Lives Matter, mm-hmm. you know? You know how much money they made off T-shirts? Mm-hmm. Just think about T-shirts. Oof. Just think about that. Yeah. I'm, I'm curious to see <laughs> where is that, those, those funds going. Yeah, where are they going? We talked about it already, yeah. so I, yeah. I'm where trying to. Where is this money going? I'm trying to be cool about it. <laughs> I'm yeah. trying to be cool about it. See, that, it. stuff like that, man. Right. I, I know who runs it. I know who runs it, you know, but another. It's not enough of us to actually look in and see who at the head of these companies and who 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 put the money up front to get these things out there, gotcha. you know, mm-hmm. and who's right. profiting, right? You know, you will yeah. really be surprised. Yeah, and it's funny because right now when you say we're not even talking against it, just telling right. the truth right. about the it, truth. then they're looking at us like. Why, when somebody doing something, y'all got to come and attack them? And it's like, well, I still want to hold true. Mm-hmm. I still want to make you accountable for what's going on. Sure. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, of course, Black Lives Matter now. One of the biggest things I see now when people talk against it or bring out some of the truths about it, the first thing I hear is, oh, you know, it's a whole lot of Black Lives Matter. And I was like, <laughs> I'm like, well, look up the official (laughs) website. Right. You know, the official website. And on there, as soon as you go on the page, first thing you see is all of the money that they've made. Right. Mm -hmm. They asking for donations. Right. They show all the little sites they got in all the different states. Right. And what people don't realize is that it was formed by three gay and lesbian women. Mm Mm-hmm. I went and to the website. Yeah, yeah, and their cause. But you have to go to the bottom where it says about us. Uh-huh. Right. And you read that, and their we'll cause the was up. to put <laughs> the gay and lesbian in the community in front of uh, race relations. Well, not even race relations, just any kind of right. injustices. Okay. And they make a point to exclude black men. Mm-hmm. Because they said in all of the struggles that we've had, we've always been the front person. Mm -hmm. And they wanted to make a point to say that they're a part of the struggle also and to put them at the forefront. And a lot of people don't know that. Mm -hmm. Um, Um, You finished? Not yet. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to keep talking. So (laughs) 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 go Go with it, it, little X. Um, I've been studying Black Lives Matter for the last three days. Before I address that, I want to ask you when you said benefiting off the 
things that's going on. Are you meaning like the T-shirts and things like that? Or yeah, because I see it's prevalent out here. Everywhere you go, it's Black Lives Matter merchandise everywhere. It's like and even if, for the even moment if that now. money is that money that they making, because a lot of the people are just making their own stuff now. Sure. Is that money going to any of that, or is that just all straight right. profit? Let me, right. Let me, let me ask you a question. It's inside the beauty let, supply let, store. Let me, ask right. you, let me ask you a question. <laughs> if you was to walk into Walmart, okay. and you see a Black Lives Matter t-shirt, would you care? Mm, that's a good question. I wouldn't. Me nah. personally, I wouldn't care. I it would wouldn't. bother me. It would get under my skin. Oh, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Okay. Crespo? No. Nah. It wouldn't matter. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. So it wouldn't matter if Walmart sold it, but a brother on the curb selling is a problem? When Well, first off, because I don't stand 100% behind it, right? but they're pushing an idea. I get that. Now, if you if you're selling it, and I say, well, hey, Ralph, how much you sending to 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 an organization? Right, right. You know, I I understand what you're saying as yeah, far as so what's the what, what's going towards the actual the fund. cause yeah, that you yeah, that you're yeah, selling because you that's sell, literally yeah. what you're doing. You're selling mm-hmm. the idea of a but, cause. But I'm pretty sure if it's in Walmart, they ain't sending nobody to the Walmart. They no. probably not. You no. know what I'm saying? I mean, no. un- unless they come out and say because they they really would have to. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So right. I mean, I would me personally. Mm-hmm. I would rather the brother on the corner mm-hmm. sell it than if I walked in Target, if I walked in Walmart, Kroger, wherever. Right. Sell it because there's no telling what they doing with it. Mm-hmm. Right. This money might go fund Trump next campaign. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I'd rather knowing that the money that. That's the, a good point. You know what I'm saying? Sure. That's a good point. I'd rather him keep it all mm-hmm. than, than they get it. Right. That's just me personally. Mm-hmm. Yeah. To address the Black Lives Matter, I, I've been doing this for three days. It's been killing me too. That's you know what y'all see. I disconnected. Y'all ain't talked to me. Me and you shared a view um, about how I got started, who was protecting. Uh-huh. I watched a um a a, a, a YouTube. Talib Kweli had um the one lady. I, I'm bad with names, so excuse me. Mm. On the show, right? And everything that me and you was saying. I was so against her from the jump that I, I just was like, I'm going to watch it, but I already know how I feel. Right. I was totally wrong by the time I got to the end. Of oh, it. yeah? Um, it was originally started from uh, Ferguson. Right. It was about. No, nah, it was Trayvon, wasn't it? No. No. Nah. It was Ferguson. Okay. And it was originally started for mm-hmm. black men. It actually was. Really? You know what I'm saying? Yes. Um, the money that comes in. That was my biggest question too. It was explained that you know these people go to jail during protests, mm-hmm. uh-huh. and they get out of jail. These money, this money is for that. Yeah, it goes to that. It's a lot of money though. What else is going on with the money? I don't know. Mm-hmm. She didn't get all in the details, but when people go to jail, some of that money is distributed to get these people out of out jail. Of jail. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, she did mention. She mentioned a lot of things that I was just like, wait a minute. Like she said, she said you can be queer and not be gay because she said queer is a mind state she says Hi, yeah, 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 hold on hold on hold on OG hold on OG say what yeah yeah so I mean everybody can go it's, it's called um, Talib Kweli's uh, People's Party yeah. it's on YouTube the mm-hmm. ladies on there you can, but she said a lot of interesting things but by the end of the whole thing mm-hmm. you can say she said it for for TV or whatever I believed her you know what I'm saying? Everything mm-hmm. she said, she said they did throw it is in there though. Paragraph nine uh-huh. from what you're talking about about gay transgender. She she compares it to civil rights, which I kind of have an issue with, uh-huh. but that's me personally. Mm-hmm. Um, where she's saying that you know they civil rights is not equal to us as black men or heterosexuals. Period. Which she ain't lying. You know what I'm saying? A lot of things they you know they get discriminated against, whatever. Right. So. If that's the one thing that'll keep me from not supporting it, I think I'll be the fool for that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because I know gay people. I might know transgender people. I don't know. I be seeing women with <laughs> with beards and shit. Right. I don't know what the <laughs> fuck going on. Like. Yeah. So I mean, <laughs> I mean, but okay. it's 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 a lot to the organization. You really have to research it. Mm-hmm. My issue was who founded it. 
right. which I found out to be a lie. George Soros was the guy that they say he's a he's a billionaire. Yeah, that was a lie. He's a billionaire, mm-hmm. and they see you know he did, he does philanthropy work. Mm-hmm. They said he put a hundred million in the Black Lives Matter. That's a That's lie. lie. It's right. a lie. That's you a know lie. what I'm saying? So you really have to do your research on your own to figure out what's real and what's not. Like I even made some phone calls. I called a brother and I say, well, you know, what's what's your thing against Black Lives Matter? And he said, well, it's just it's just about police brutality. Mm. Mm-hmm. So I was like, you don't support it because it concentrates in his eyes mm. on police brutality. But I'm like, that's that's real. Mm-hmm. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So you, we nitpick at a lot of shit. I think this is something that everybody need to do their own research before they really voice how they feel because you might be wrong. Like, we were wrong, bro. Right. You know what right, I'm right. saying? Like, we were wrong. Mm-hmm. And now I, I'll say it here now. We never talked about it on this show because of that. Right. Mm-hmm. But, you know right. what I'm saying? But I'm glad you brought it up, OG. Yeah. You gave right. us the, you you know, the floor to talk about it. Because we didn't want to touch I it just because we yeah, didn't. Yeah, I, I want everybody, you know, especially at this table, to go look at that man and listen to her. And he asked her some tough questions. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. she answered them. You know what I'm saying? And I was wrong. Like, I'll, I'll be the first to say that what I thought it was, it wasn't. And, mm. and I'll leave that at that. What's the yes, name sir. of that? What's the name uh, of it? Talib Kweli got a show yeah, on uh, a show. Uh, YouTube. It's uh, called YouTube. People's Party. Yeah. Okay. And uh, check it out, show. bro. Yeah, he yeah. interviewed people. Yeah. He it's, asked it's, real it's, questions. It's dope, though. It's dope. Last one I saw, he no, I saw Vlad asking him about <laughs> Kanye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't do nothing with Vlad TV no more. I don't either, he, and I just saw Vlad that clip because of Talib was on. He's a culture it. vulture, yeah. and he likes to keep shit going. Yeah, always. He do. You know what I'm saying? He do. So he divides us more, and he he put us in places to to be successful. I will say that. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, and it was a small clip just because I'm a big Talib fan, and I just wanted to see what he was saying with the whole Kanye and the the Trump and him running for president and all that and. It was crazy. But it was funny. It was more funny than anything. Yeah. So, but yeah. <laughs> Speaking <laughs> of the culture, should we, should Blackout Tuesday be done weekly? I think or so. Or even monthly? I think every week. I think every week. I think it needs man. to be a day every week. Yeah. That's a weekly. We, we go out here and we we give all our money to, to black businesses because it not only does it, it shows our unity, but it keeps them in business. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? It gives them, you know, they can say they they can compete. Ralph, right, what a, a kind of better. what kind of impact do you think it had though? That one day. That one day, yeah. We got laughed at. What you think about Spider Man? <laughs> exactly. I, I honestly, I think so too. we got laughed I, at. I, I, I think so too. I, I think the whole thing is it, you have to plant a seed. Sure. And in order to plant that seed, you got to water it. And a lot of us don't like to sit down and and create a habit. Mm-hmm. You have to start it. That's usually the hardest thing. Like even us doing this show, it was hard as hell for us. Hey, Amen. We, we put a phone hard. in a glass, <laughs> still sweating, and we're right. swinging it around. <laughs> still sweating. Hey, it was hard, yo. Yeah. But now we got but we KO. Kept pushing, right? We, we, we got KO. We, we got KO. KO with us. You know what I'm saying? But now yeah. this is where we are, and, and I think what it did was it, it just planted a seed, and it takes time, and that's why it has to be a continuous Absolutely, effort. Absolutely, man. Like it has to be a habit. You don't even hear the people that put it out there. For it to start trending, mm-hmm. say right? Anything, right? You know, and that that, that that's disturbing because that means you you said something off emotion, yeah. You yeah. know, and and that's the problem with us, especially us as a people. Emotional, we, yeah. We'll say something off emotion in a minute, yeah. and then be like, "Oh my bad," yeah. But you've right already heard all kind of feelings, and yeah. you know. But I think it's something that really needs to be weekly. Like, um, Killer Mike got a seafood. I don't. I, I'm not from Atlanta. Right. Bankhead. So, Bankhead. Yeah. Bankhead. Seafood. And he he got. I guess his back open. Is right? that a? They started. A, yeah, him and Ti. Well, they started a uh, a food truck. Yeah. And then that they're in the process of opening back up to his store. Oh, so it's it's it's, it's an actual yeah restaurant. Okay. Restaurant. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, you know, I think you know it's it's people out here, man, that could use that. Like the, it was one brother. He didn't even know what was going on. He was a, a business owner. He's a black man. Sure. And he made like one of the biggest profits ever. That he ever made. I don't know You'll think about it. You'll think about it. The <laughs> biggest profits ever. And he didn't know what was going on. Mm-hmm. But his daughter told him, like, yo, this is, you know, the day we support. I think that should happen on a weekly. So, and that's thing you know, it becomes a habit. It becomes right. a habit. Right. Where you be like, you know what? I ain't got to go over here to get this. Mm-hmm. He got that too. Mm-hmm. Like, but, I had to look up 
black grocery stores. Right. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Black owned grocery stores. There's some out there. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we need to really start just making stuff continuous. One thing I did say on another show was that we get satisfied quick. Mm-hmm. And we think we done won something. Right. right. And we ain't won nothing. Right. Like, them people laughed at us because you know what happened? The, the seventh thing. happened. Yeah. <laughs> But the, you don't forget the six happened and the right. eighth happened. Yep. Right. I think he elaborated on that when we were talking about taking down those Confederate monuments. Man, but so yeah, it's, 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 it's something that we have to keep going with. Yeah. Or if not, all we did was say, they, they look at us like, okay, man, they had their little time. Man. Right. Back, back, back. <laughs> right. You had your one day. And that's yeah. what they do. But yeah. it's those out there that have that short attention span, man. How, is it, how do we get them to catch fire like that? His favorite thing is to say? Go ahead. Is social media. Have to yeah. social media. It's gotta be social media. You know it's a blackout, but this line wrapped around the corner. Unreal. <laughs> at Walmart. Yeah. They, they couldn't get at it Popeye. Yeah. Popeye's. Oh, bro. Popeye's a good. That was good <laughs> well, that's a different Popeye. story. Popeye. Oh, man, good. That was but, disgusting. Oh, yeah, man. Goodness. That was disgusting. We, um, we, we got to do better. I mean, we we can. The work we got to put in, the work we have to put in, you know, to get to. It's really. Uh, Believe it or not, I mean, I mean, a lot of the older guys, mm-hmm. man, you have to go after the younger people. Mm-hmm. You really have to go after the younger people. Sure. Because a lot of the older older guys or older women, man, done. They said they're tired. Their, they said in their ways. They, done. They, they, yeah, they tired, man. Yeah. They ain't got it. it. It's an exit strategy done. for them. I like Wendy's. I'm going to Wendy's. Wendy's. That's real, right. though. Yeah. Life is simple for them at a certain I know my point. cousin has a restaurant right around the corner from me, but I'll drive four blocks to, to go, go to Wendy's to get the same burger that my cousin is cooking right here. And your, and your cousin mm. make it better. Right. Mm. Real buns. Unreal. Real biscuits. <laughs> I yeah. like biscuits. I know you. Butter biscuits. <laughs> but to, but, so that's why we have to find a solution. Yeah. To you know, change this 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 whole narrative, man. Because you know we we want to say Black Lives Matter, mm-hmm. Black Business Matter too. Mm-hmm. Them the lives that you know That's we important. need. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I mean, we 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 gotta we gotta stop saying it's you know it. Well, what they say is it's good for the moment. We gotta stop being moments, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Sure. We, we have to communicate. I mean, communication is our biggest breakdown in our community. Absolutely. Yeah. Biggest breakdown is. It's communication. Mm-hmm. Um, I had a brother uh, speaking to me one day about uh, the guy who does his lawn. Young man, young brother doing his lawn. He said, man, I'm about to get rid of this guy doing my lawn. I said, why? He said, he don't cut my grass the way I want to, so I'm going to go get somebody else to do it. I said, have you told him? Right. right. He said, no, I'm just going to get rid of him. I said, how does he know he's right, right, yeah, communicating? Right, yeah. Not communicating. Right. <laughs> Yo, right. I said, I promise you, if you talk to this young man and tell him how you want your grass cut, right. mm-hmm. he will do it just like that. Right. He said, I ain't got time for that. What? What you got time to do? You ain't cutting it yourself. But you're going to go get somebody else. Come right. On. Which is going to take back. a whole nother effort. And then what if right. they come and they're cutting it the same way he was yeah. cutting Would it? Would you patience, communicate? Our, patience, you our patience is so short with each other. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, but we will sit back and tolerate all kind of trash from everybody else. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, and That's right. you know, we have got to just learn. We breathing techniques, whatever it is, we've got to learn them because we've got to learn to work with each other. That's how, that's what it's going to come down to. How how do you think with you? We we threw your age out there earlier. It's still amazing. Yeah. How do you think, um, say your generation, communi- communicates to <laughs> to us and us pass it down to other generations? Well, my generation is stubborn. Mm. Real stubborn, you know okay. what I'm saying? Um, I think you guys, uh, you guys are around forty. Yeah, yeah, forty-ish, exactly. forty-ish. Yeah. I think you guys forty-two. Right. I think you guys are more open-minded than than my generation. My generation is really stubborn and stuck okay. on what they're stuck on. They're not willing to look. You know, just like you go into the music industry now. Look, these young kids, you got to let them have their time. Right. We had our time. It came through. It may sound like trash to us, but it sounds like. <laughs> No, it may sound like trash yeah. to us. Yeah, really. It may Gar- sound like trash to us, Garbola. but to them, it's what what's popping now. Let them right. have fun. Let them pop and have their fun like we had ours. Yeah. Right. So we have got to be stop being so judgmental on 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 the things that the younger generations are doing. But I think you guys being right in the middle of that forty, you guys are more open minded. Oh, a lot more open minded. I can talk with you guys sure. a lot easier. Uh, uh, talking with guys my age, 
Really? Yeah. Believe it. Wow, that's heavy. Believe it. I believe, I believe that. I believe that. Yeah, I, I think they have, you have some in common. You know what I mean? Something believe. relatable. But like he said, that they they just stubborn. You like mean, you, stubborn. you're not gonna move them off of that you off of that rock. You, you ever had a sports yeah. conversation with a guy his age? <laughs> and, Forget and, about and, it. And, and you say something like, you "About to walk away." You you say something like, "Hey man." Tim Duncan, the best power for whatever, man. They got oh, eight, shit. nine yeah. different dudes, yeah. man. That I ain't never heard. Oh, man, Tim Duncan ain't I heard Matter of fact, yeah. shout yeah. out, shout out to the OG. <laughs> no, I mean the player. Olo, shout out to the OG, Andre Allen. Yes, that's Have. my dude. That boy. Andre Allen Have. will pull a name. That's my yes, dude right there. Out his hat. That's probably a, a Barcelona. That's right. A, 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 a fedora or something. Dude. He and you got the swab, and you got to go Google who he talk about. Yeah. But when you find out, <laughs> yeah, you can be like, "Hey man, this dude got argue. And he knows right. that he know, all he know everything. Hey, man, Another yo, one, <laughs> an- yo, that's just. Yeah. He told me, man, we was talking about Tim Duncan hard one day, man. And he came in the room just busting the y'all don't know what y'all talking about, man. <laughs> go, go, Tim Duncan ain't nobody. Go look up Alvin Hayes. That's, that's right. I'm looking like, that's I'm true. Looking like first of all, that's who true. ain't even talking to you? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Hey, you know it's funny though. That's Dre. I, because yeah. I'm in I, I love sports or whatever, yeah. but on I, I played a video game, 2K, oh, right. and they have these throwback teams. Right. And on the throwback teams, the they bullets. had a little card with the, the black and white. The, the but when you see the stats, yeah, yeah. you'll be like, so man, that's, that's, that's just what like that's what, what? He, that's what he told me, man. And ever since then, yeah. when we, everybody be talking about cats, guess who I bring up? Andre. Alvin Hayes. Yeah. Alvin Hayes. <laughs> and they yeah. be looking like, man, who was Alvin yeah. Hayes? I will be like, yo, Go I had to pull him up. Yeah, they, up. yeah, talk yeah. about so the it's, goal. So it's, it's, it's hard. <laughs> I mean, just like us, man. We we on the kids like 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 OG said about their music, we don't like it. Nah, but it's hard to release that though, bro. Yeah. If it's terrible, it's terrible. It's, it's <laughs> That's terrible. why they crazy. Now. It's, 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 that shit crazy. It's, 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 it's terrible to an ear that don't want to hear. Think about when you was coming up, man. Your mom ain't want to hear that shit. Yeah, you right. No. You're you know right. What I'm Absolutely, what? you right. So even if they were saying something, yeah, they play some most stuff. Oh, but you know they what? They still was like, "What's this trash?" It went, right. Turn this <laughs> off. Give me sorry, it, winter five. It went from, exactly. Uh-huh. It went from making love, grooving, yep. dancing, till we got political. Mm-hmm. Fuck the police, fight the power. Dead yep. press, NWA. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So the parents went from, "Wait a minute, what is all this cussing?" Right. All they cared about right. was the cussing. cussing. Yep. You know what I'm saying, and now Dolores. you know, <laughs> yeah. you know, we taught you how to sell drugs. Right. This next generation, Killing. they tell you how to use drugs. Right. You know, what I'm, I mean, just <laughs> it's, it's a difference, you know. But it is what it is, man. You gotta let them have yeah, their fun, man. Yeah, I, it, like I you said, I, 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 I get along a lot better with guys uh, younger than me. But I've always been open minded to things. Sure, okay. that's real. I'm not gonna knock anybody's lane. Your lane is your lane. Right. Mm-hmm. You can have it with me. I don't care. Right. Well, I'm staying in my lane. Right. So, you know, um, I never try to um, push my my views upon a person. Mm-hmm. I'm not even, I don't even try to do that. If I say something, that's what it is. And and I'm going to let you have yours. Mm-hmm. You know, I'll let every man live his life. But you but you will throw a. Yeah, I'll throw, throw a nugget some, out there. Yeah. Because that's my job as an older dude. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Throw a nugget out there as a, at a younger guy. Mm-hmm. If he catch it, he catch it. If he don't. You'll catch the next one next time we talk. Okay. You know, yeah, something else yeah. Well, you know, but, if he's um, interested, because right. I don't, don't waste no energy. I've on had a lot of young guys come to... back to me and ask me things, yeah. and I'm shocked at the guys that come back. I'm real shocked because they're like stuck on something, right? And they come back and go, "Hey, man, remember you said this?" I'm like, "Yo, you remember that?" And you know, a lot of times they, a lot of times yeah. it depends on who they're around, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, they won't say yeah. nothing. They be like. I've seen guys in groups like that. Yeah, you know, right. One come guy by, come back by himself. Yeah, show. later on by himself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey man, what you yeah. were saying about that? Yeah. I get that a lot too. Yeah, that's peer pressure. That's I never felt that yeah. in my life. Ego, yeah. ego. Kill I don't know everybody. what that is. You know what? It's I, egotistical. Man. I had I had peer pressure, but it was more with my music taste. Mm-hmm. I still get it. Ralph riled me sometimes. Man, what the hell is this we listening to? Like, you in my car. Hey, Copay. <laughs> you in my car. You see how I just looked out the window? Don't touch the stereo. Don't touch the stereo. Like oh, so yeah. sometimes I be wanting to listen right. to some Rolling Stones or some, yeah. you know what I mean? Whatever it is yeah. that I'm feeling at the time. Your brother better find Chuck Berry. And, he, <laughs> and the people be looking at me crazy, so I had to wait till I'm by myself. All right. And then I played my music by myself. You can't dig on the Rolling Stones because they ain't come up with that style on their own. He killing it. 
It still sounds good. I'm the still, I listen. I listen to my <laughs> man. Right? I listen to my folks too. Yeah. Oh, but they man. made some good stuff too. So I, oh. music is music. You know what I mean? Yeah. I but y'all. you know where oh, it came. Man. We know where it come from. Come yes. on, man. If I get in there and I hear Elvis Presley, I'm walking. Now, yeah. Now, <laughs> matter if fact, you take, do that, fact, slap me. Matter of fact, take slap me back. Me. Take, <laughs> me, no, that ain't take, happening. take me back to my car. <laughs> no, that ain't happening. Right, slap me if I play oh. some Elvis. <laughs> take, take me back to my car, man. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> my God. What about some John B, though? I mean, you know, John B, my guy, man. You know? <laughs> Are you still down? <laughs> yeah. Because he had Pac on there. Yeah, <laughs> That's a smooth cut. <laughs> hey, y'all been seeing that right. video of that Smokey Robinson the old. Hey, dude. <laughs> you no, I saw it the other bro. night. <laughs> Leave Smokey alone, bro. Smokey smoking. Smokey smoking. <laughs> smokey <laughs> smoking. Yo. Leave Smokey alone, man. Oh, that junk is so Go ahead, funny, babe. What you see, bro? Yo, my wife looked at me and was like, Smokey. Smokey, had a, hey man, Smokey Smokey had a message, man. It just didn't, it didn't come out. Right. It didn't come out right oh, at all. I don't know man. who okayed it, but it didn't come out right. I was like, why? Yeah. Oh, that was funny though. It was oh. funny. Gang banging. <laughs> He's immortalized. He could do whatever he uh, want. He got that. He lost me when he grew Sir, the dreads. Cr- like how you yeah. how you light skin, green eyes, and I now you got dreads. Man, man, man. <laughs> Come on, blue you eyes. Lost me. Yo, I met blue him. Eye. Cruising came yo. out a long time ago. Yo, <laughs> his eyes are blue. Really? Yeah. I met him. I met him when I was like, yo, his eyes are really blue. Yo, Smokey, yeah. a musical genius. Man. Oh yes, he is. We're nice not, dude too. We're nice not, dude. We're not taking that away from yeah. him. But everybody. I wish you had a clip of that. No, you With don't. The jean no. I want to get a Then he did it on. Hey, KO, KO, can we get a clip of that? <laughs> that that smoky <laughs> joint. Hey, yo, leave smoky alone. He gonna do it. He gonna do it. Leave smoky alone. Next to the car. Get on the stairs. They talk about Motown Motown's fight. I can't, man, because the, the car well, is like about super Motown. deep. I mean, you oh, know. Listen, you want to talk about Motown? That's where you got your music from back in the day. Yes, it is. He wrote everything, man. Yeah. Now, now let's ask the artists where they at now. <laughs> uh, sitting somewhere counting their money. Uh, no, sir. Not a lot of samples, sir. No, sir. Not a sample, in sir. Cleveland. No, sir. In Cleveland at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. <laughs> Tell them. No, no sir. sir. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Man, do you know how many people they write? Hey, man. Barry Gordy got so Some many of them people. Hey, man. We're not about to sit here. Come on, man. Barry, huh? Yo, hey, we, we got to be truthful, right? We're not about to <laughs> sit here <laughs> and do that, sir. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not prepared. I'm saying this is he why I'm re- saying this. I'm uh, saying yeah, sir, he not prepared. I got sign. He ain't ready. I, I, he, he I not been, I've been watching okay. Unsung for about twelve <sighs> weeks. I mean, this, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling for these brothers. Ooh, they yeah, on not, camera looking not, bad. Not, not them did they self like that. <laughs> not them did they self like that. Oh man. my god! All right, man, All right I'm gonna leave him alone. Yeah, leave him alone. He right. put a lot of greatness out there that we love. He just wasn't paying about. Um, go ahead. Go oh. ahead. What's, what's next on the card? What's next on the card, man? Look, man, look. We talk, I, okay. I hate to switch gears like this. Back to Black Lives Matter. But since we're talking about Black Lives Matter, are darker skinned uh, people all over, the, all over the world treated inferior? Because, I mean, racism is heavy overseas once you go overseas. Absolutely. Mm. I mean, um, to this day, currently. I mean, you got, like you said yesterday, Sean, mm-hmm. you've got darker skinned Brazilians yeah. may be treated differently than the lighter uh, Brazilians. Everywhere you go. Everywhere, Everywhere you go, you it's, go like it's over there. Everywhere. But now, we travel pretty much quite often. And you've ever heard the story where someone says, man, y'all need to go to Amsterdam. They love brothers over there. Mm-hmm. Y'all need to go People to Germany. The they time. love brothers over there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. say that all the time. Bro. Is that true? Or? You ever been to Rotterdam? Yeah. No. No, nah, I haven't uh-uh. been to Well, you Rotterdam. guys have to go to Rotterdam. I was in Rotterdam for a week and a half. A week and a half. Mm-hmm. That's about a half an hour ride from Amsterdam, right? Okay. It's the second largest city sure. over yeah. there. It's okay. Huge. It's huge. But they have a um, a Caribbean fest okay. over there. You put pictures of that up. Yes. Yeah. You show remember that. that I remember. Let me tell you something. It's unreal. Right, that but I found out some history over there while I was there. I was checking out some things. Really? I saw, me and my wife was tripping out. Mm-hmm. A lot of brothers, you right. know, from the islands, right. you know, were with these old Caucasians. I'm talking 65, yeah. 70, 
What? Dude's like 19, 20. Listen to me, bro. Blowing my mind. Wearing the big rollies. There you driving go. The, there driving, you go. The, driving yeah. the big trucks. Yeah. All that. Say what? So what I found out was, I was talking to one of the sisters over there from Rotterdam. Mm-hmm. She said, back in the 70s, the Caucasian men would go to the islands, right? Uh-huh. And get the women. And get the women. And marry the women and bring them back to Rotterdam. Mm. So, the women... The Caucasian women there, you know, they they're like, hey, uh, there's nobody to marry love. because they bring in all, all these women over here. Mm-hmm. Wow. They started going to the islands and getting the brothers, marrying bring, them and bringing them bring back. Them back. Mm-hmm. Wow. I say yeah. this to that. Big. Um, it's big. Really? Wow. I, th- I think oh, yeah. dark-skinned men tend to be looked at more aggressive. Yes. Like when they approach by, you know, people period, they mm-hmm. tend to get more people um they be careful or they be more scared. People more appro- timid. Yeah, mm-hmm. to approach a, a and people people, man. Um mm-hmm. as far as, you know, if you identify yourself as black, it, that's that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? Um I I do see that a lot even growing up. Mm-hmm. I notice how, you know, me and my, you know, I got a homeboy. He, you know, he brings about a little lighter than uh, in Bay, and that is that's B E Y. B E Y. Yeah, right. that ain't that not, not Bay. Yeah, yeah, not B A E. Not the Bay Area. Yeah, or, or not that other Bay. <laughs> you know not that, that, that Bay. Bay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but I would always get a little different treatment. You gotcha. know what I'm saying? Be, and, and because of my pigment, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying. So that's one thing we could figure it out. It had to be because I was a darker one. Yeah. You know, but I um I think it's still like that, man. Mm-hmm. I think it's you know people tend to like when we go out of you know out of the country, they they tend to come to ask you a question versus the <laughs> right. yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? They be like, oh shit, oh, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm mm-hmm. yeah. but you and know, it's, just, it's condition. People, yeah, yeah exactly. Condition. Yeah, it is like condition because you don't see too many you know TV show or you know things is going on where you see a light skinned you know brother getting beat on and mm-hmm. things right. like that. You, you tend to see the you know the melanin come through mm. on that. You know, yeah. which is it's 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 sad, but it is what it is. It comes with the territory. Yeah, that racism heavy man. That yeah. shit was way here way before us, but, and it's but you know it's so crazy. Way after we Can- leave, here. Cannon goes over to Dublin all the time. Mm-hmm. Every Irish Saint holiday, Saint yeah. Saint Patrick's. Saint like. Patrick's. And I, when the first time he went, I said, "Yo, you be careful. You going sure. over there?" I said, "You be careful, man." You know, and he came back and he was like, "Bruh, it was so much love over there." You know I, went with him. I went I went with him. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and and that's what sorry to cut you off. I'm no, glad you, I can say that. You're not sorry, this is the first time ahead. I can say that. You're not sorry. <laughs> sorry no, go, I cut go, you ahead, off. go ahead. Go ahead. But yeah, when I went, I got the same thing cuz right before I went was when that brother got jumped, got killed by them six guys at the bar. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So everybody was like, "Hey man, you be careful out there. I hold down like black people this and that." So me and my cuz went out there um and we got there as soon as we got there we got a cab. Actually, we stopped off in Amsterdam. Right. Had a layover in Amsterdam. Went down, shot down to Dublin. And we got in the cab. And the cab driver, was he was real cool. So we talking to him. And we're driving. Mm-hmm. And we was like, hey, man. Uh, he was like, because he was very talkative. Very talkative. So I was like, man, I heard they don't really like black people over here. He said, man, who told you that lie? He said, man, we just don't like British. He said, we love everybody. We just don't like British people. Wow. So that's historically, uh-huh. you know, they have yeah. all their political issues with, with the British people. Mm-hmm. And um, so he was like, yeah, that's that's crazy. And I can I can tell you, man, that the, the time I spent there and the way that people treated us, mm-hmm. I didn't feel I didn't, uh, nothing like none that. of that. Mm-hmm. You know, I didn't feel like I was discriminated against or mm-hmm. anything. Everybody was real cool. Nobody was looking at us sideways. Everybody was cordial. Mm-hmm. Even in the bars, man. The bars, like I said, we was there doing St. Patrick's. It's literally, I can't even say shoulder to shoulder. You're waist to waist. That's how crowded this bar was. But the whole time you're sliding, mm-hmm. everybody is understanding. So nobody is pushing. You know, here you get oh, in the club, yeah. folks get drunk, yeah. they get the pushing on mm-hmm. you. Right. Mm-hmm. That never happened. If yeah. they bumped you, oh, I'm sorry. You right. know, you're yeah. okay, whatever. And you waste a drink, oh, i get you another drink. Right. I mm-hmm. mean, that was the, the best time I've had as far as a big crowd is concerned. Right. Mm-hmm. And, of course, we were the only black people right. in most of the places we was in. We were right. the only black people there. Mm-hmm. 
That's and another. actually, yeah, yeah, it was so it was like you know you got to get out and you got to see the world. Yeah, you can't be scared. I mean, you do. Uh, it's it's bad to say this, but it's true. Like you do have to check now. Yeah. Like yeah. you know, what I'm saying, see, oh, yeah, do your research. Yeah, you gotta do your research because you've been walked in somewhere and had to fight your way up out of there. Mm-hmm. You know, but you no. Know, but I Thailand, think. my experience in Thailand. Um, me and my wife were there for three. We were there for three weeks. Mm. And what part? We was in Bangkok. We went to Bangkok, and we stayed in um, what do we call it? Uh, Bayata. Okay. Mm-hmm. Bayata, what everybody called Pattaya. Pattaya. Yeah. yeah, you know how we change words, but um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know right. Patty. I've been to Patty. Yeah. It's Payata. Payata. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And uh, so I got down there. Uh, when we first got there, I, I come out the airport, walk into a cab drive. I'm like, I'm trying to get the Patty out. Huh? <laughs> I said, Patty out. I'm like, huh? I went to the next one. Hey, um, you going, you going to Patty out? All right. Look at you. <laughs> crazy. Another crazy. guy. I went like seven cab drivers. Really? And this one guy walked all the way down. He says, You mean. Uh, Payata? Payata? Yeah. <laughs> I said, how do you spell it? He wrote it down. I said, yeah, that's it. Bruh. <laughs> <Bruh. laughs> hey, how do you say bruh? I said, look, look, I said, I said <laughs> Courtney Hines got me over here. Like, oh, Lord. Yeah. Yeah. You can't oh. be listening to Courtney Hines. <laughs> Shout out, Courtney, Courtney, Courtney. Courtney Hines got me over here looking look, crazy. Look, look, crazy. <laughs> yeah, New Orleans finest. Oh, that's my girl that, right Courtney. there. Courtney. 504 <laughs> for real. Shout out, Courtney. Shout out, that's my girl right there. Love yeah, her. Yeah. That's my people. Love her. Yeah. But, um, but uh, um, I noticed <laughs> all, the cab, all the cab drivers were were of a brown complexion. Yeah, they were. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Copper tone yeah. complexion. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So as we're driving... I'm looking at the billboards. It's snow white. Mm-hmm. Everybody's snow white. Yep. We get to our hotel, turn on the news. Everybody's snow white. Right. right. Snow white. Yep. Walk outside. Everybody copper, copper tone copper brown. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm like, what is this? Mm-hmm. Even here, they're doing this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? It's all over the world. It's everywhere. All over the world. All their soap operas. Yeah. They snow white. But they love it's us like it's over there. More appealing. Yeah. Yeah. They do love us oh, yeah. over there. Brother. Yeah, I've yeah. been. I'm sorry. Yeah, I've yeah. Been. Yeah, yeah, but they love us over there. Snow White everywhere. <clears throat> All the billboards. Yeah, you know? that's crazy. Babe, you, you came in here with some books. You know I love books. Yes, yes. So I I, I want to see what these books is here. Well, I'm about to hit you in the head. I'm about to hit you guys in the head with something. Let okay. Me, let me put a helmet on first. I don't <laughs> like I'm a little tender. Like tender. I'm a little, <laughs> like <juggernaut. laughs> little tender. Well, well, the first thing I want to ask you guys about is your nationality. Your nationality. Okay. okay. Uh, hey, I'll be the first one to step mm-hmm. out. I'm black. Okay. Uh, let me say that. Okay, Ralph. I'm gonna go with that. I know you gonna hit us in yeah, the head. Boricua. <laughs> Boricua. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this. Um, most people would call Boricuas Puerto Ricans, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but the true name is Boricua. Mm-hmm. That's that's his true nationality. In order to be considered a human, a human being. Mm-hmm. If you go in, if you go into the list of human beings and it shows you all nationalities, you can pull it up. Mm-hmm. You won't find black because black is not a nationality. Mm-hmm. It's a it's a it's an adjective. Is, is black African descent? No, it's 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 an adjective. adjective. Okay, it is a color to describe a people. No, it doesn't describe a people. It's, it's, a, it's a, color. a color. Right. Mm-hmm. This is a this is a this is a uh, uh, clear uh, table. Just say this though, right? But I, I mean, this is a uh, what do you call it? Uh, a tag. This is a tag okay. that they put on us. Okay, yeah, yeah. As people, okay. So we cannot, so we cannot identify with who we truly are. So they started black, Negro, color, African American. What's coming next? Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Something's coming next, right? Because they want to keep us as far away. From who we truly are, because once we recognize who we truly are, the game is over. Okay. When you separate someone, when you separate someone from who they truly are, mm-hmm. that person, that person is is considered. Uh, they have laws for that. There's a thing called color of law. You need to look this up. Color of law. Okay. So when you identify with the color, you fall into <clears throat> another bracket of law called color of law. Right. So that means. Uh, you're an entity. You're not real. You're not real. 
So understand understand on on the things that are happening to us today mm-hmm. is because we're we're identifying ourselves with something that's not real as your nationality. Remember to be first of all you were three fourths of a man, right? What is that? Three fourths, whatever they called it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But now you're identifying yourself as a color. Mm-hmm. Like a white man is not a white man. He's a Caucasian, right? A European, right? You see, so as a European is a nationality. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So one of the biggest one of the biggest uh, um, problems we have in our community is that we've been identif- we've been misrepresented and and we've been um, reclassified as a people, mm-hmm. as a nation mm-hmm. of people. And we've been given these titles to keep us away from who we truly are. So I brought this book today. And it tells you all the things you need to research. It helps you research and find who you truly are. Because I can ask, I can ask each one of you a question here. And I'm pretty sure all of us, including my man, K.O. K.O., correct? K.O. If I said, how many of you have... Indian in your family. I've heard that you have Indian in your family. Mm-hmm. I hear it all the time. Definitely. Right. Why? You 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 found it out from your family members. Your older family members right. passed that down. Right. right. So why, if you if someone said to you, "We have Indian in our family," your great grandmother, your grandmother, why would you not believe them and believe somebody else putting a tag on you? Uh, that's okay. Deep. I so would the, I these be people con- didn't have social media. So right. would I be considered like African Indian? No, you're an indigenous man to this land. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Wherever you're from, you're indigenous to that land. Okay. The original. So I'm American. American. Not you're not a US citizen. That you're not. Okay. You're not a US citizen. The US is a corporation. Okay. It is a corporation. Right. US corporation. But who you are as an as an individual? Mm-hmm. Your nationality. Mm-hmm. It's another book with all the facts. Dang, hold on. Okay, man. I'm still trying to take this one in. Black, look, <laughs> right. Black people are indigenous to America. If you go deep enough, you can find in your family that your family were the original Indians. Now listen to this. I'm saying indigenous because I'm not going to use the word. I'm going to use the word Indian because that's what most people are used to hearing. Right. Okay, mm-hmm. but. The people that they call the Indians, when Columbus got here and, and people before him, they were us. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. They were us. Sure. Absolutely. They were us. I, I do believe that. The indigenous people of this land of America, uh-huh. North America, South America, they were us. They look just like us. Just like in our families. I was brown skinned with curly hair as a kid. Mm-hmm. Mm. My sister was light skinned with straight hair. What wow. they came in 1820, the enumerators, the enumerators came in and they they started separating as as, as they call the New Orleans. They had a paper bag test back then. I yeah. remember that. You heard of that oh, before? Oh yeah, I heard of that. Well, back in 1820, in 1820, when they were doing the census, they came out and you can find this. You can go up and look at the enumerators in, in 1820. Mm-hmm. They were told to write down. To go on these Indian tribes, right? Tribes, and write down if they were this complexion, you would mark him as B for black mm-hmm. or N for Negro. If they couldn't tell who he was, just say his complexion, you would write mulatto mm-hmm. because we can't we can't tell who you but you, right, you right. Make sure. so mm-hmm. so we wrote mulatto. And then the ones with that were light with straight hair, they called them Indians or Native Americans. So this was a separation. Mm-hmm. Then they later on came back. They later on came back. The government later on came back to the Indian tribes, right, mm. to their chiefs, and they said, anyone this complexion, copper tone and mm-hmm. darker, mm-hmm. we want you to kick them out of your tribes. Mm. If you kick them out of your tribes, we'll pay you money. Mm-hmm. Wow. You can look it up. You can pull up black Indians trying to be reinstated right now. You're going to find it all over the country. Mm. All over the country. And you never hear about Kyrie it. Irving just got, re- yeah. Kyrie yeah, Irving yeah, just yeah. got reinstated. His I family. Just yeah. Yeah. He just mm-hmm. got reinstated. Dude, uh-huh. 
Right. The original people, the Indians that they have now have married Caucasians, mm -hmm. and you see the chiefs is light and white. Right. All of them. Yeah. Come on. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's to separate you from the land that they gave these titles, black, African-American, Negro, colored. Mm -hmm. None of those are nationalities. In order to be considered a human being, you have, you must have a nationality. Now let's not let let's not forget these these uh the, these scholars that we have out here. Right. Mm -hmm. All these big time guys, they know this, mm -hmm. but they getting paid, bro, right. to keep the black thing out there. Right. The Negro thing out there, the colored African American. In order to be an African American, you must be born in Africa right. and now right. live right. in America. Right. So how are you being? How are you classifying yourself as African American? African. Now, and if you if you do, there's there's some more stuff that goes behind that. Mm -hmm. Now, if you consider yourself an African American, mm -hmm. in the Constitution it states, if you are a descendant of an African slave, you can and never will be. A citizen of the United wow. States. So now you call yourself an African American. Now you're saying that, hey, um, I'm an African American. So where does the Constitution, how does it protect you? It doesn't. Mm -hmm. mm. It doesn't. So now you can shoot my son down in the street. And this lawyer takes my money to, to cover our family. He goes in, I have an African American client. And black, black in law, if you go to black in law, it says dead. Mm. Mm. Black Law Dictionary. Look up black. Dead in law. Has no standing in law. Mm. So why do they represent us like that? These are guys with great educations, right? Right. The guys up front. Con who was it? West? Carnell, Carnell West. West. Yeah. All these big dudes. Dude, they know. They're getting paid, bro. They're getting paid to keep this out there. Wow. Every one of you can go back and find your family and where they came from. And I promise you, your family will be listed on the Indian, uh, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, it's, called, it's called the Indian, um, it's like a, a listing of, 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 of uh, what's the name of it? Oh, I'm stuck right now. Um, It'll come to you. Yeah, yeah, it will. It'll come to me. But you can go back and trace your family back, and you will find out that your family was from a tribe. Let me ask you this: What's the best way of tracing your roots? Because I hear you know the ancestry dot com, and then I heard it's another one now that is black owned. And, right, you know. that's that's garbage too. Okay. Listen to this: I would say I would say for a beginner, start mm -hmm. on ancestry dot com. Mm -hmm. Just don't give them your blood. Okay. Right. Not giving nobody my blood. Right. Just They're already trying to put us in the system already. Right. That's right. another way of getting us. All right. But you mm -hmm. can trace your family back through Ancestry.com. Okay. And the older people, I would say start with the older people in your, in family. your family. Get as much information as you can mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. start. It's easy to chase the women because their names change. Okay. So right. you track the women first. You track the women first. Their names change. You always find the husband as you go with the women. You always find right. with the name change. But... This is what they did to separate to separate us uh, and keep us away from oil, gold, mm. silver, everything that's on this, this land. What's the name of that, just so we can hear it, and, and, and who wrote it? You can go to, this book is called, You Are Not Negro, Black, Colored, Morisco, Nor African, Nor an African Slave. Okay? Mm. And you can go to, you can go to, um, e, no, not eBay, but... Uh, Amazon. 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 Mm -hmm. This book is like five dollars, six dollars. Okay. Five dollars, six dollars. But you will find out the things you know that you need to know uh -huh. in order to um see really who you are. And there's laws in here. There are actually laws. There's laws in each one of these books. What's that, that you one? Can, that you can cross reference. Mm -hmm. Cross reference things and pull it up. It's right there. Mm -hmm. Our people have got to start reading, grabbing books, and just digging in. Absolutely. Dig it in. What's the name of the second book? The yeah. second book is Black People Are Indigenous to Americas, to the Americas. Research material. Boom. Very simple. And Amazon like, as well. Yeah, and it looked yes. like a quick, easy read. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, this young lady, very who, informative. The young lady who did the research, everything in here, she cross-referenced everything. Mm. 
So you're not just you're not getting her views. Mm-hmm. Nothing. Right, right. Because you're facts. Facts. All facts. Okay. Uh-huh. To the fifteen hundred, sixteen hundreds, just walking its way down. Mm-hmm. I'm like, whoa, our people were here. Wow. Our people were here. Wow. That's heavy. So the word black, <laughs> yes, sir. The word black. I want to ask you. I want to ask you a question about the word black. Mm-hmm. The word black yeah. is as we see it, and we go through and we look and we see how they have white as pure. And, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So black is always negative and dark. And mm-hmm. right, how can you make a negative positive? If black has always been seen as a negative, how do you make it positive? Mm. You can't. No matter what you do, like we've been doing now, right? Right. No matter what grade level of education you have, Mm -hmm. no matter how much money you make, they look at you the same, right? Mm -hmm. Sure. Right. Right. Never going to be a positive in their eyes. Mm. See, when you go to other countries and they ask you, they've asked you, I've had some deep conversation with people around the world, and they ask you, uh, what's your nationality? Because they ask that in other countries. Right. Yeah, they do. What's your nationality? Uh Uh-huh. And you say black. They look at you like, what? Right. Mm-hmm. Trust me. What? Right. What are you talking about? It's, in their mind, that's a color. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you really sit down and like have like deep conversation with them, right? That's a color. How do you identify yourself with the color? So we we've, we've really got to find out who we are. Mm. Um, dig down. We are the original Moors of of this this continent. Period. Mm-hmm. Of every continent. Right. Every continent. Period. You just dig deep enough and you'll, you'll see. Hmm. There was no man before us. Human beings. Original. Right. Original man. Period. Uh, it, it's funny you were saying that. Uh, <laughs> what's my girl, Jane Elliott, was talking about that. Mm-hmm. Oh, Jane yeah, Elliott, yeah, yeah. How she was telling white people, like, y'all are just uh, down, or a faded black person. Right. Like historically, <laughs> that's basically what she said. Because uh, historically, we are the original man. And original said, man, uh-huh. you know, they went. Some people went to colder parts of the world, and then it, literally their skin got lighter, and then you know it, it changed for the climate of the weather that they was living in. Everything, right. you know, all of that Everything. stuff. So yes, we are the original man. But the use of black, uh, I, I think uh, that that that's got a stronghold on our people. Mm. That's really got a stronghold on our people because, like I said, like you said earlier, the older generation, they're not changing. Mm-hmm. They're not changing. But uh-huh. that's why we have to go after the younger people and un- let them understand that. Once they look into, the, if, you, if, if you can buy a Black's Law Dictionary mm-hmm. and just go through um, these words that we use every day, it'll blow your mind. Mm. Blow your mind. You walk into court and you say, I'm a black man. I know my rights. And yeah. The judge, in his mind, you don't exist. Mm. It's facts. You don't exist to him. What if it's a black judge? Doesn't matter. Doesn't mm-hmm. matter. He's going by law. Law rules everything. Right. Mm-hmm. You don't exist. So you're calling yourself something that does not exist. Mm-hmm. You take a position of power. Doesn't matter. You lose your color for the power. Period. Like we were talking about police. Mm. Sure. You know I mean, we saying? talked about you're that. Not, you're not a cop. Mm. I mean, you're not black. You're a cop. Yeah. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Same with lawyers, judges. judges. It's just what it is. That's why they That's why they okay with giving you time. No problem with giving you that. Because you're identifying, you're identifying with something like, uh, you're, I know you guys heard, heard of the straw man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So um, you're an entity. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're calling yourself something that does not exist. Right. And he's going to serve you just like that. He's going to serve you up just like that. Because mm-hmm. you fall into another bracket of law now. Yep. I didn't ask you to call yourself that. That's what the judge is saying. Right. I didn't ask you to call you that. Yeah. You, said you, that. Right. So you said you were that. So since you said you were that, here's a law sitting right here waiting for you. Right. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to serve you with it. Wow. Mm. That's heavy. Wow. Serve you with it. So we, we, we just have to dig and, and just... Pass the messages around with each other. Um, get each other on the right track. But yeah. but this is one of the biggest reasons that we're being treated like we're treated. Mm. 
Hey, yo, man, I'm so happy you came on the show. <laughs> Me too, bro. Let me that was heavy. Like, I'm gonna oh, blow, I'm, I'm gonna blow you guys' mind with something. Okay. I have an attitude. I mean, it's not a, it's not an attitude, but it's uh. You, you, I ain't gonna say, don't say that. No, I'm not, nah, it's not it's an attitude. Not attitude. No, I say I'm passionate. Yeah. I'm passionate about people that look like me mm-hmm. and the things that happen around me. Right. Um, and I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna blow you guys' mind with something. I've never given a police my driver's license when they asked for it. Really? Never. Interesting. Never. Please. Never. Never. They get mad, act crazy. Never. My wife, my wife will just give it, be quiet. Mm-hmm. Never. Mm. Because if you don't understand the law, you're going to get stepped on. You must understand the law and the land that you live in. Mm-hmm. They'll back down quick. Mm. So we have to start digging. Reading. Reading. Wow. Knowledge yourself. Yeah. Mm. Here we go. I'm so happy he came on the show. I've sat in the me car. Too. I've sat in the car and just sat back me like too. this while officers talking to me. I just sat mm. back like this. He got tired. Have a good day, man. All right. Not saying nothing else. No. You want to know who I am? Pull it up on. <laughs> pull it up in your car. Mm-hmm. I'm not giving you nothing. I just sit there. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Well, Whew. ladies and gentlemen, uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, we thanks, <laughs> thanks for tuning in. Uh, to this. Go ahead, Ralph. He, need, he, some? he needed that, man. He needed, oh, absolutely. He to say that and he did. I'm, 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 I'm proud that mm-hmm. he came on the show and shared that light because everybody that heard this that didn't know they got homework to do now. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. Knowledge yourself, and, and he's a reader. He's a reader for sure. I know that. Mm. So you know he's willing to stand by whatever he said. Definitely, definitely. You know? How can you let your grand? How can you take someone else's word over your grandmother or your great grandmother? Right. You got to be insane. Mm. Yep. These people, they didn't have no reason to lie. They didn't have Facebook. They didn't have Twitter. They didn't have all of that. Mm-hmm. Right. The only they thing they knew is what, what they, they know. Life. Right. That's it. Experience. And you're gonna let somebody else call you something that you're not. This dude right here. Uh. It's funny that you have him. Mm-hmm. He, he when I don't know if you've ever seen any of his uh, interviews. Have you looked at his interviews? Yeah, I've seen a few of them. He was Indian. Yeah. <laughs> and he let it be known. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't afraid of who he was. Indigenous. But it was he funny was when people would hear him talk. Oh, he sounds like a white guy. Why? Wow, yeah. Just because of how he talked. Right. He was in Chuck London Berry. for a long time. Chuck you know Berry. <laughs> Chuck Berry always identified himself as a Native American. Mm-hmm. James Brown. Even though black, he wrote I'm "Black and Proud," but go look at his stuff. Right. Mm-hmm. Native American. Know yourself. Because they knew. Know, know yourself. yourself. Know thyself. Wow. Yeah. I think we should just kind of, because yeah. that's that's heavy. Yeah. Know yourself. First off, I want to say I appreciate y'all coming back again. Oh, no man. doubt, man. Always man, a pleasure baby. to be here. I had a ball. Laid it down, man. We should have started with you early. Oh. We should have just... <laughs> we should have just sat back and just listened to you the whole show, man. Oh, man. You oh. saw we was quiet the last oh, 10 minutes because you was laying it pretty. Hey, yeah. man, with grown folks talking. Man. Be quiet. Be quiet. <laughs> Be quiet. <laughs> you know how many times I got slapped in the mouth when I was a kid? Oh, man. What? Well, it's your turn now. You oh, got the flow. God. You know, man, I, I want to say uh, shout out to our number one fan. Oh. Our number one fan. He been there yeah, since boy. day one. Absolutely. Boy Shaq. Big Shaq. <laughs> Quez Crenson. You know who deal he is, man. We appreciate Shaq you, man. Daddy. Man, he hit us every every week. He hitting us yeah. with the quotes in there. I'm like, man, what you talking about? Man, y'all <laughs> tripping on that. Y'all, you know. Yeah. <laughs> we love it though, man. Appreciate that, bro. We appreciate it, man. Um man. I don't know who noticed, but we have a our vision has changed. And um uh, <laughs> he's distracted. Right. Our, no, our vision I, I should let him talk um, first. I should let him. We got a we got a young we got a young guy who knows what he want to do. He knows where he his vision for us is, and so we gonna put our our vision in his hands, and we gonna take a ride. That's our our new 
editor. His name is Ko. Ko. Shout out. Shout out, Ko. Ko. So you know, mm-hmm. Ko the man. And Bring we, in some and of that. We rolling with him. That's what's up. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, man. I'm and, if y- and if y'all like what y'all see, yo, we can get y'all the information to Ko. Right. He's doing it. He, absolutely. He's a free agent out there. He he throwing all kind of shots. And, and he and he got a resume to back up what he do. So you yes, know. He do. As he do. I'm Kyle Parshawn. Hey, before we go, I just want to, uh, I just want to throw something out real quick. Mm-hmm. I want our people to look up Noble Drew Ali, the most important man to ever step on this continent. Mm-hmm. Noble Drew Ali, okay. the Prophet Noble Drew Ali. Okay. Well. <laughs> As we leave our garden, we want everybody to have a safe day. Islam, Islam. Um, knowledge yourself. Mm. And um, we see y'all next week. Know thyself. We out. <laughs>